What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a big day for the wagon. Now over the last three to six months probably, I've been teasing you guys and hyping you up about a full send wagon build. And today we're officially getting started on that. And I am so excited. If you look behind me, we've got a nice stash of parts. I've been hoarding parts for the last few months here, trying to get everything in order. So thank you for your patience. I really appreciate it but we've got all the parts for the first phase of this build. So today we're gonna to talk about some of the parts that I've got behind me and what this process is gonna look like. Now you can probably tell based on the parts that are sitting in front of you, but we're gonna begin this build with suspension. And I see this build happening in three phases. First being suspension, two being either engine or exterior stuff. All right, first thing we're gonna do is unbox these Fortunato coilovers. And I hope you guys are grateful because this is literally fresh tape on here. I have left these in a box for months so that you guys can have this unboxing experience with me. So if you're thankful for that, Drop a comment down below. Now let's unbox. My God, those are beautiful. It's obviously one of the front coilovers, but that is stunning. So these are the Fortunato 500 series coilovers. I opted for these over the 510s just because the wagon at this point is still very much so a street car. And I didn't wanna to go too crazy with the coilovers and have it be not enjoyable on the road, especially for long road trips like the express rallies that we do multiple times a year. Now these will be the first set of coilovers that I've actually put on the wagon. Up until now, we've just been running the Coney Struts and Swift Spring, so I'm super excited for the adjustability of these. I opted for the Swift Spring upgrade, so we'll get a higher performing spring than what they come with stock. And these are 10K valving all around, so it should be a pretty good setup for the wagon and give us lots of adjustability to get these new wheels dialed in for fitment. Continuing on with the suspension upgrades, we've got the aluminum Spec B control arms, and I wish that the file that I filmed of like these beforehand didn't get corrupted because this is not what they look like when I picked them up. I'll throw a photo up on the screen here, but these were covered in some sort of paint and just looked all nasty. So I decided to have them vapor honed and the results are absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna be like so addicted to vapor honing things, it's gonna be really, really bad. But these look awesome and I cannot wait to see these on the car. Next up, we got a whole assortment of White Line goodies. I was lucky enough to get White Line on board for this build, and I'm now a White Line ambassador. So there will be a discount code down below. I believe it's a certain discount off of $150. Put all that stuff in the description. But I'm super thankful to have White Line on board and get the wagon all gripped up. We've got a replacement polyurethane bushing for every bushing possible on this car, as well as their rear control arms. So we're going to get these all replaced and make sure we can get the rear fitment all dialed in with those. This is what I've been waiting for. We got some new Johnnies for the Legacy, and this is the most aggressive wheel setup that you can fit on this car. I think you guys are gonna really like it. So we went the Enki GTC 02s in the Hyper Silver. Kind of similar style to what we had before, but much more aggressive. Still that multi-spoke style, and I really like the risings on the car, so I think these are gonna be an awesome upgrade. So these wheels are an 18 by nine, which is a whole inch wider than the setup that was on the car previously. So we've got some serious meat to go on these. To complete the proper wheel setup, we had to go with a real grippy tire. I went with the Michelin PS4S in a 245. The biggest tire I've ever had on this car was a 235. So we've got a super grippy tire in a wider fitment than we've ever had. And this setup is gonna just, oh, it's gonna feel so good. All right, next up on our part list is a STI steering rack. So this is a brand new steering rack from a 2015 plus STI. It's a very common upgrade on the Legacy as well as some other Subaru chassis. And the benefit of this is that it has a 13 to one steering ratio versus the 15 to one that's on this car. So a lot sportier feel from this steering rack than what's currently on the car. Definitely excited to see how that feels with all the other suspension upgrades that we're doing. And then just because we had to, we went with a Cusco brace as well. So this brace replaces the stock one that comes with it and should be a nice little touch under the car. Now the last part of the suspension modifications to this is we're gonna redo the whole brake system. So these STI Brembos I put on, oh man, like three, four years ago easily. We've put a ton of miles on them. The rotors are pretty shot. They've got a little bit of warpage that you feel when braking. And this is the original STI gold that is on this, this caliper. Um, it was 
It was in decent shape when I put it on, but there were some chips and stuff, but I decided just to run with it because it was good enough at the time. But now we're gonna take these off and fully rebuild them. I did rebuild them at the time that I put them on the car, but we're gonna get these fully powder coated, rebuild them with all new gaskets, seals, the whole works, everything's gonna be new. We're gonna get new rotors, new pads, and really complete this. I'm gonna keep the color on these guys a secret, but if you've been watching for a while, you probably have some idea of what color we're going with on there. It's gonna, it's gonna really stand out. I think you guys will like it. And when I said we have all new everything for these brakes, I meant everything. These are the seals that go in with the pistons. We've got new bleeder valves. I opted to replace all of the cross springs that go on the brake pads, new slide pins that hold the brake pads in, the cotter pins for those, like everything. These things are gonna look like brand new calipers fresh off the factory line. Got brand new Hawk 5.0 brake pads for the front and rear. I've had those on the car for the last few years and had really good luck with them. Got brand new braided steel lines for the front and rear. Uh, these ones are the custom ones to fit the legacy fitment with Brembo's. So those are going on there. And then over here, I've got all new rotors. So I've got the DBA 4000 series T3 rotors and then the same rotor, but the custom fitment for the legacy. So you can retain the stock e-brake fitment in the rear. All right, I have done a whole lot of talking and I really want to get to work on this car. So we're gonna throw the Legacy up on the lift, pull all the wheels off and do a little quick test fit with the new wheels just cause I'm dying to see how they look on the car. And then in the next video, we'll start tearing down all the brakes and getting those ready for power coat. Like I said, these brakes definitely need some love. The rotors have seen better days. The, the paint really, I mean, for being a 2004 caliper with original paint, not terrible, but we're gonna make those things really pop. And I just have to see what these new wheels look like on here. Even though it's not gonna be the new brake setup, coilovers or any of that, we just need to do a quick test fit and see what these things look like. Even with the crusty ass brake setup that is on there, these wheels look so damn good. Like, <laughs> I can't even get over it. I'm like, I'm losing it. Like this is everything I've hoped for. I've waited like a year to see these wheels on this car. This is a huge moment. All right, boys, I am so glad that we have finally started the full send build on the Legacy GT. This has been well over a year in the making and been delayed for a variety of reasons, but it's finally happening. And I'm so happy to have made some progress on this car tonight. I know we just scratched the surface, but just being able to work on it again is super exciting. I hope you guys are as excited for this build as I am. If you are, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you're most excited for with this build, what you wanna see with the Legacy GT in the future. I know you guys love this car, so let's get some good engagement going down in the comment section. And we'll be getting back to this thing and having weekly content from here on out with this build. Like I said, I got all the parts stacked up and ready to go so that we could have a full build series with this thing. So get hyped. I will see you guys next week. And until then All right, to give you guys a little bit of context, that video that you guys just watched was filmed, I wanna say in like July or August. If you couldn't tell, it was super sunny in that video. It has been that long that I've been trying to get this project together and rolling, but it is finally happening. The wagon build is underway. In next week's video, we're gonna take this thing over to Griot's Motors and dry ice blast the entire bottom of it, which is gonna be Insane. The whole bottom side of the car is gonna look brand new and we're gonna essentially have a clean canvas to start putting all of our new parts on. And unfortunately, the brake calipers are off of this thing. So I'm gonna to have to get it towed over there, which is kind of unfortunate, I can't drive them over. But speaking of brakes, if you stay to the end, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek at what the Brembo's look like. This is absolutely unreal. I am so beyond stoked how these turned out. I saw it like back in the day, uh, I think it was a Ferrari that was like a dark blue, similar color to the Subaru with yellow calipers on it. And then Lewis suggested it again when I was actually getting these powder coated and they're just gonna pop so nicely up against the car. We held them up to the car the other day and Lewis and I were both just like totally freaking out. They look so good. So this is what you guys have to look forward to in the upcoming videos. <laughs>